Trying to master note taking during your final exams? Listen, I get it. With a heap of pages stacking up in your file, managing these notes can get extremely difficult, even on a computer. You might have discovered some different methods available online as a solution to effective note taking, but I'm going to show you how learning how to mind map effectively is what makes all the difference. So in today's video, I'm going to go over a step-by-step -step process to effective note taking. First, I'll share with you three key points to help you, and then we'll hop over to the screen share and I'll walk you through exactly how you can make your own mind map. By the end of the video, you'll have better strategies for taking notes with the help of mind maps. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for all the latest updates. With that, let's dive in. Here are my top tips for taking notes. Number one, organize your notes using mind mapping templates on eDraw. As you're preparing for your final exams, organizing your notes is essential and needs to be a top priority. You of course will want to make sure you cover the complete syllabus. eDraw's mind mapping templates help you to group all of the information that's contained within your notes in a much more efficient way. eDraw's mind mapping tool is the best out there and it gives you the finest of options to create from from spider maps to Venn diagrams, concept maps, and fish bones. This is how you'll be able to manage all of the data in a single place and observe all the key points carefully without leaving out any information. Number two, graphic organizer templates. Let's face it, the use of text alone can get monotonous. The use of visual representation helps smooth out your concepts and ideas. Adopting symbols and diagrams turns out to be much more illustrative than using just text. When you mind map with graphics, you make it easier for your brain to absorb information and key points. Number three, use one platform. Professionals and students all say that eDraw has dramatically enhanced their workflow because it's so user friendly. Another tip you should keep in mind while creating mind maps for your notes is that using a single application that supports this whole process is a hundred times more effective than using multiple platforms. So after organizing and creating your notes within the platform, you won't have to keep going outside of the application once you're ready to return to study them. This exclusively saves you time and effort, giving you a whole new perspective on note-taking techniques. Let's talk eDraw versus Notion. You might have been hearing about other options, like Notion. There's a significant and decisive difference, however, that you're going to find between these two softwares. And that is, the enhanced graphic quality of eDraw Max. To put simply, you'll find better graphical elements and templates to use inside eDraw Max. Notion gives you fewer methods and overall more basic tools for your note taking. So now let's hop over to the screen share so you can see how it's done. Okay, so I am here inside the dashboard for eDraw Max and to get started with my mind map, I'm going to go here create new mind map, but actually what I want to do is go to the template library because I'm going to start this study session and this notes organization with one of the fantastic templates that's available in here. And as you can see, I'm using the mind map tag to select my favorite template that I think will be best for using today. And as I was telling you guys earlier, there's so many more options inside of eDraw than uh, other programs and programs like Notion and others. You can see that they're much more vibrant, they're much more visual. You have your graphic organizer mind map that is super helpful. And so the one I wanna use today is going to be this one here. So step one was selecting your template. Now that I have my template to study for the food chain semantics quiz that I have coming up, I'm going to start to customize my study notes. And so you'll see you can add lots of different kinds of symbols and graphics over here on your left hand side. There's a variety of them and you've got text symbols and lots of other design elements. You can simply drag and drop these symbols onto your mind map like so. Let's say I want to add some details about omnivores. So I want to add details to one of the existing terms here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag a little line to connect omnivores 
to this new box, like so. See how easy that is? And let's say I want to put the definition in here as well. So omnivores, an animal or person that eats both plants and animals. So it's that simple guys, that's why I love this software because now not only do I know where omnivores fits within the food chain, but I also have my definition right there beside it. And you can see how amazing it is to also be able to include visual aids. Uh, the mind can only absorb so much textual data and so being able to have these visual aids here uh, with your terms that you're studying is so helpful. So all you have to do to change what's inside the box is simply click on it, right? Uh, and if you'd like to change the color of the box to make it stand out, let's see, let's make this one yellow. Let's make this one purple. And we'll make this one light green. Again, just more ways that you can customize your map and help yourself to learn and absorb information. There's lots of different elements in here, such as connectors, text tools, other geometric tools for customizing the graphic organizer. You will find tutorials inside of eDraw, so don't worry about that. All the tutorials are free and they are inside of the software, so you can check those out there so that you can learn how to use it as soon as you download it yourself. Now I'm going to save my mind map and I'm going to save it uh, as a file. You can save it as JPEG, PDF, HTML, SVG, several other formats. The reason this is really convenient is because you might not always want to study looking at a computer screen and so this really gives you so many options as to how you study best. If you export your file and then you save it to your desktop, you can take it with you on a mobile device or you can print it out and have the actual paper in front of you to be able to study the chart and study your mind map. So I'm going to now save and export my map. I'm going to go to export. We're going to export it as a PDF and we're going to export it as an image based PDF because it does have uh, lots of pictures inside of it. Let's call this food chain semantics map number one and we'll save that to our desktop and voila there we have our food chain map for our test coming up it has all of the modifications that we made and we can print this out if that's more helpful for the way that we study so guys you can look through all the frameworks that you have for preparing your topic or idea you're going to extract all the notes that you require for directing a complete preparation of the topic and once you have extracted all your ideas, reorganize them with the mind mapping tutorials. As I mentioned before, once you organize all your notes, the creation of the perfect mind map for your problem statement is effortless. And understanding the flow of organizing notes is really essential in this process. So I wish you the best. So guys, that concludes our video today. We hope this has been helpful for you. You can explore more of our related videos and keep stepping up your note taking game. If you'd like to see more of this, let us know in the comments and share our video more and with your friends. Find out how eDraw Mind Map can help you in making your studying more efficient. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and if you love our content. Comment on our video, share your ideas on mind mapping, and get a chance to even win your own free eDraw licenses. We will see you in the next video with more informative content. Bye for now!